Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Cheese! Today we're making the castone a la tomate. I just made that name up, it's just rigatoni and tomato sauce. Let's get it. Alrighty, first things first is we're gonna cut this onion. After cutting the onions, we're going to cut up four cloves of garlic. We're going to dice them as thin as possible. Once you have them about this small, you're going to sprinkle a little bit of kosher salt on there. And you're gonna chop, smear the garlic into the salt. Once you're done, it should look something like that. And you're gonna scoop all that garlic you just crushed into a bowl. You're gonna save that for later. And into that bowl, we're gonna add half a stick of unsalted butter. We're also gonna add a little bit of salt, some freshly ground black pepper, and some parsley. And you're gonna heat that in the microwave until the butter is melted, but not too hot. And now on the rim baking sheet, you're gonna spray some food glue. Next, we're gonna take a four pack of King's Hawaiian Sweet Rolls. These were $2.49. I'm gonna place that on the rim baking sheet and you're gonna cut that in half. If you haven't guessed already, Yes, we're making garlic bread. And it's gonna be kind of sweet too. Once you're done melting the butter, it should look something like this. And then you're gonna take that, get all the garlic and brush down the Hawaiian bread. This next step is if you want extra garlicky, I'm gonna add some garlic powder. After you're done, you're gonna put it into a 375 oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until it gets nice and golden brown. Over high heat, you're gonna add some neutral flavored oil. That can be canola oil, vegetable oil, or some avocado oil. I'm using avocado today. To that same pan, you're gonna add some, or all of the onions from earlier. Once the onions have started to become a little translucent, you're gonna add some garlic powder. Onion powder. Gonna add a little bit of dried oregano. Some rosemary. Some thyme. That I still don't have enough of it on my hands. This next ingredient is optional. 
if you already have it use it if not you don't need it but some chicken tomato bouillon Next, you're gonna add about a pound of ground beef. This is 80-20, and I got this for 535. Once the meat is done cooking, you're gonna add about half a box of rigatoni. Once I'm gonna add a can of unsalted tomato sauce. This is 15 ounces. Next, you're gonna take about a cup's worth of water, put it in the can to get the rest of that tomato sauce out and pour it in. After that, you're gonna cut the heat down to medium and put a lid on it and let it cook. Your garlic bread should look about like that when it's done. And you take it out the oven and let it cool while you finish cooking your pasta. Making sure to stir occasionally. After about 15 minutes, the pasta should be cooked. Just take it out and taste it and make sure it's at your preferred doneness. Don't forget to salt and pepper the taste. After that, you're gonna kill the heat. And you're gonna grate in some cheese of your choice. You can either do Parmesan or you can do um, something fancy like Romano, if you have the money. This is a little bit more expensive, but I think you can get Parmesan for about like five bucks. So you're gonna take that and grate the cheese into the pasta. You can put in as much cheese as you want. That's all depending on you. And after that, stir it all in. Make sure the cheese is melted, and there you have it. A nice, easy meal. For presentation purposes, you can just grate in a little bit more cheese. And voila! Alrighty, it's time for the taste test. Bon appétit. That is most definitely Cheeto delicious. Anyways, that brings our grand total to less than twenty dollars. If you like the video, like the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, peace.